The longleaf pine ecosystem once covered tens of millions of acres across the southeast. Without the forests, we lose the basic function of these ecosystems on which lots of species depend. The longleaf pine ecosystem is important to a variety of species, uh, one of those being the red-cockaded woodpecker. And it is a keystone species in that he provides habitat for other species. If the red-cockaded woodpecker goes away, then the diversity in that ecosystem goes down. So it's important that these private lands are maintained and managed appropriately uh, to benefit the species and the ecosystem. Because the red-cockaded woodpecker is federally listed, as endangered. The stewardship program is providing money to help restore woodpeckers to some sites that have no woodpeckers by moving birds to the sites where we've already invested stewardship habitat money or to existing populations that are small and we want to make them larger to secure them. We are in Francis Marion National Forest. We're going to be banding a red cockaded woodpecker nestlings and putting individual color bands on them so we can identify them in the fall and move them to new properties. It's called a wireless peeper camera. See, like these two are kind of older here, and I could get bands on them, but this one guy that's probably two days younger than them, so I'm gonna give it two days so I can hopefully get a, some bands on him as well. Every bird will have a different color, so that in the fall we can identify individual birds. Once they get old enough, we'll sex them with the color bands, then we'll move them in male and female pairs. If there's red cockaded woodpecker cavities in a forest, there's homes for literally dozens of other animals to use those. As woodpeckers excavate new cavities, their old cavities may get enlarged by pileated woodpeckers. Raccoons use them, fox squirrels use them. A whole suite of other critters use those holes. 